Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today I'd like to experiment with ChatGPT and see what it can do for us game developers using Unity. I'd like to be able to write a simple prompt in Unity, something like create a grid of cubes 10 by 10 centered around the coordinates of 10 by 10 by 10. First, let's test if putting in the exact prompt actually yields what we want. This is great, but it's not exactly what we want. It's given us some instructions on how to create a grid and also given us some pseudocode. So instead, what if we ask it to create an editor script for us that does what we want? That looks pretty good. So let's try take this code, put it in Unity and see if it does what we wanted. Not exactly what I wanted, but it got the general idea. With a better prompt, it would have got it in the end. All I need is an editor window with a text field to put in the prompt and a button to generate. Wow. Now the next step is integrating the ChatGPT API with Unity to automatically create and run the script without doing anything. As an input, we tell OpenAI which GPT model to use and pass in a set of messages to which it will return some JSON with the output. The input messages can have a role and the three main role types are system, user and assistant. System messages contain rules for GPT to follow for its response. User messages is the prompt provided by the user and assistant messages are prior responses made by GPT. For our prompt of creating the grid of cubes, we can structure our input something like this. Let's first create some structures to handle our data in and out of the API. Now let's create this API class and a static function that takes in a request. We'll convert it into JSON and send it via post to the OpenAI API. If you're following along, you'll need an OpenAI API account and you should receive a secret key that you can place here. When the request is completed, we take the JSON returned from the API and convert it to a response structure. Then we send that content back through a callback function. Let's head back into the editor script we wrote and in the onGUI function when the button is pressed, let's send a test message to the API. Let's construct our request by setting the model to GPT 3.5 Turbo and let's create a list of messages. I'm only going to send one message, which is the input text from the text field in the editor. It will have the role of user, so it will be considered as the prompt. Then we can use our API class to send the request, and on the callback, we can just log whatever ChatGPT responded with. Well now we know that our editor can write some bad jokes, but now let's use a system message to guide the AI into giving us a c -sharp editor script regardless of the prompt. We'll also give it some other instructions like telling it to create a menu item and telling it not to include any unnecessary explanations. Now let's create a callback function called handle response and pass it into the api.sendRequest function. In handle response, let's invoke a method called create script asset with content. It's a unity internal method, so we have to use reflections to access it. We can invoke it and pass in parameters. The two parameters are the path to the file and the asset content, which is the code that ChatGPT returned. Now that the file gets created, the final step is running the code automatically. The reason we exposed a menu item is that so we can call this through code. In the editor script, let's hook into the assembly reload event cycle on enable and remove the hook on disable. Then in the on after assembly reload, let's check if the temp file exists. If so, let's use editor application.execute menu item to call the menu item that should be there. Once we're done with it, we can delete the temp asset so we don't clutter up the project. And now the moment of truth. Let's see if it all comes together when we test it. And there you go, everything works just as expected. However, there are some issues that I'd love to discuss. First is the recompilation. Every time you generate, it will get annoying to recompile all our scripts pretty quickly. Second is ChatGPT quite often forgets to add the menu item and now we can't run our code automatically anymore. But a more functional issue is that we can't inject variables in runtime. 
What if we wanted to do the same prompt but with a different height and width for our grid? We'd have to waste another API call to generate the code again. There's no simple way to solve these issues with C Sharp because it's a compiled language. However, implementing Python solves all these problems. ChatGPT is so smart it can translate Unity c -sharp code into Python. And since it's interpreted, we can inject variables in runtime and there's no recompilation either. What you're seeing now is a prototype of such a concept. You can set up variables and change them in runtime, edit the code after generation, save the code as a preset so others in your team can utilize these helper functions, and it even automatically creates menu items and shortcuts. If you're interested in a tutorial of implementing all these features, let me know in the comments. The project is free to download on my GitHub page. Feel free to use it however you want. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.